Good morning everyone. Guys, did I go down a rabbit hole last night? So <clears throat> I was only 50-50 on making this video this morning and I still don't know what I'm going to call it. I still don't know what I'm going to put in the thumbnail and I'm still 50-50 whether I'm even going to post it. But let's see how it goes. So I'm going to start by just sharing this article with you from the, well, it's not an article actually, uh, a page from the Met Police. And of course, you know, all these will be in the description, all the links will be in the, in the descriptions, sorry, in the description. So shh, let's just read that then, guys. Obviously, there are certain keywords I can't use on this platform because the videos get flagged, but let's just look at this. Now, this is from the Met Police. So they've obviously, uh, we'll reject them. So, you know, they've obviously got thought this is a big enough issue to have a page on their website about it. So this is what we've got here, guys. And then we'll, we're going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to miss out keywords. So you guys are going to have to fill in the blanks. So some, uh, something linked to faith or beliefs is where concerns for a child's welfare have been identified and could be caused by a belief in witchcraft, spirit or demonic possession. Ritual or this word here, guys, if you can see that features or when practices linked to faith or belief are harmful to a child. So, guys, what even is this happening? You know, I saw a video that popped up and it was London, um, these gangs operating. So I started to search about this and I was thinking, right, OK, so what what is all this about? I mean, is it a real thing or is it just, you know, is it just some of these conspiracy theories? Now, I, I was I almost dismissed it until I saw this page and it's called um, Operation. Or I think it's called Operation Violet which is the Met's police operation into looking at these sort of things when we're talking about, you know, children and um, beliefs, belief-based abuse. Now, <clears throat> so I, I, did a, I did a little bit more digging and then I found this article, guys. You know, and I, guys, I am just sharing articles with you. I am not passing any judgment on this. You know, I'm not saying it's real. What I'm saying is that there are articles out there and, you know, there's the old, um, you know, there's the old rumor. There's no smoke without fire. Look at this, guys. Look at that headline. You know, again, this is more than nine years old, but I did have a look into it, this, because if these things are happening now, there's not just claims of it in London. There's claims of this all over the world, you know. So they looked at, you know, uh, you know, these Whatever that says there, guys, claims of that cult and that this word here, that key word, you know, they're saying that this is happening in London, but they're also saying it's based as judge rules. So there's only been, as I understand it, there's only been one investigation into it. So I found out who the judge was, this lady here, Justice uh, Powerfully. Pow, so I found this lady powerfully. I found her, um, you know, I found her Wikipedia page. I looked what she's been, you know, I looked what she's been um, involved in, what she's done, other cases she's ruled on. Now, again, you know, you may or may not wish to make assumptions here. You may not wish to put these things together and, you know, link them. But let me share this with you again. Where are we? Um, not that one, not that one, not that one, this one. So the same judge, she came under, uh, yeah, so the same judge, she came, this is, here we are, guys, Justice Palfrey again, says police and social services should make proper allowances for the way immigrants choose to discipline their children. So she came out and she said, you know, when, um, when you're looking at cases of child abuse where parents have been hitting their children, you should look at their ethnic background and their ethnicity and be more lenient to people from ethnic backgrounds. And she got a lot of flack from that, you know, rightly so. A lot of people were saying, you know, that the law is the law in this country. And if you come to this country, you respect the law of this country. It doesn't matter where you're from. Now, a few things, you know, flagged up in my in my brain on this. I thought, OK, if this is an article from now nine years, what's what's the climate now? Because we've had a lot more, a lot more wokeness. People, you know, you only need to look at the judicial system and it is a very woke system. You can look at the, you know, the incidents from the NHS where we have, you know, members of parliament being people who are, you know, who have a political agenda, who have a political stance on the Middle East. They're getting preferential treatment now. So we know that there's this two-tier system. Now, 
is there a two-tier ju judicial system whereby if you're from another country, you're tre more lenient because of your beliefs in that country? You know, guys, this is how you erode out, you know, this is how you erode society. But going back to this article then, guys, I'm just going to read you a few headlines now that I found, you know, relating to this subject. Boyzone says, sorry, Boyzone Shane Lynch accuses Taylor Swift of con conducting satanic rituals at gigs. And then we've got Shane Lynch again, blasting demonic Barbie thug and claims she is praying for Irish, uh, he is praying for Irish Eurovision star. Russian press chief calls Olympic closing ceremony obviously Satanism. You know, so we've got all these articles, and all you have to do is look at these, you know, look up, do a quick search about this. And there's loads of articles are coming up. Now, I don't know if any of this is real. I don't know if this is a real thing, if these things are happening in our society. But you know, there's so many people talking about them. And I guys, I watched so many that I watched maybe three or four videos last night of um, accounts of people who claim to have, to have witnessed this firsthand, of people, just some of the most vile things I can possibly think of. Obviously, I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not going to share those videos with you, um, and I won't even put them in the description, but they're, they're open source for everybody to see. So, you know, do we have a scourge of this, you know, in London underground, in back room, you know, secret meetings where this sort of thing's happening? Like I said at the beginning, guys, it's obviously a big enough problem for the Met Police to have a page on their website talking about it. You know, and the article, I'll share it again, guys. So the article on the Met Police, you know, of course, I, I feel there's something inside me. I feel a little, I, I feel a little bit icky sharing, sharing, you know, sharing these things with you. But, you know, I, but the Met Police one, I, you know, I don't feel as, as bad sharing that because it, it just seems absolutely wild. I mean, look at this, guys. Belief in evil spirits. Belief in evil spirits that can possess children is often, in, often accompanied by the belief that a possessed child can inflict others with the condition. I mean, guys, come on. We are literally, I mean, is this real? Is this really happening in our communities? I would, if you'd have asked me yesterday, if you'd have asked me a week ago or whatever, if this is happening in our communities, I've said, don't be ridiculous. But now I'm seeing this on the, you know, on the Met Police website. So there's obviously enough concern, enough, you know, enough reports of this for this thing to be made, you know, for this thing to be taken seriously. Here we are, guys. Project Violet, sorry, not Operation Violet. Project Violet and how to report belief of faith-based abuse. Guys, it's absolutely insane. I didn't even think, I think this thing went out, in, you know, in, in the Stone Age. But, you know, it's obviously such an, um, you know, it's such a, it, it must be that common that the Met Police, are, they're investing time, money and resources into that. I'd love to see some reports on that. If it's real, what communities are affected. Guys, I'm probably going to keep looking at this because... I, want, I do want to get to the bottom of this and I do want to find out what is actually happening. You know, it, like, I, like I just said previously, if you if somebody had come up to me yesterday or like the day before or whatever and said, Sean, this is happening in our communities, I said, shut up. I would have, guys. I would have just said, that's absolutely absurd. But, you know, seeing this on the Met Police website, now I'm like, oof, is it really? So now I'm looking at all, so now every time I look at these articles pop up and normally I just scroll through them, you know, I'm thinking, is it? Is there something to this? Is there smoke? You know, I mean, you've heard the old saying, there's no smoke without fire. You know, is there something to this? Equally, I've not seen any evidence of this. Yes, I've seen anecdotal um, anecdotal accounts. I, and again, you know, I, I'm not saying these people are wrong. I'm saying I don't class that as, that as evidence. I'm not, I, I don't think there's been any convictions. There's, I've not, I, you know, there, there's, there's nothing I've seen personally that I would say, yes, that's a smoking gun. However, however, if not, why is it, if there's no smoking gun, if this is not happening, why is it on the Met Police's website? Why have they got a whole uh, project 
dedicated to this, dedicated to stopping this. And why are we targeting children? Guys, this is a rabbit hole. I didn't want to go down, but, you know, I'm in it. I may, I may get down it so far and think, do you know what, guys? This is not for me. Let's stick with tanks, guns, bombs and bo uh, bombs and asteroids. Anyway, guys, bit of a weird one, bit off, um, off center. Not sure how far I'm going to go with this. Let me know in the comments if you want me to dig deeper into this. Anyway, guys, I'm going to Mac to Grid. I'll get you guys another video later on.